Peter Jarvis's Adult Learning Theory by Kalina Poulard. Today we're going to be talking about who is Peter Jarvis, what is his theory, who influenced his theory, and what are the components of the learning cycle. Peter Jarvis is a noted British scholar, researcher, and speaker. He is a professor in both the UK and in America. He's authored and edited more than 200 articles and critiqued more than 30 books. He's also written 123 of his own. I want to talk about Peter Jarvis's learning process theory through experience. He says it's the combination of processes where the whole person experiences social situations in which the content is transformed and integrated into the individual's biography, resulting in a changed or more experienced person. To give you a more in-depth example and to walk you through the stages of learning, we're going to be watching a few clips from the movie Raising Helen. In it, Helen is going to face a life situation in which she was unprepared to handle. She's going to have to decide whether or not she was right or wrong in making any kind of decisions about that life situation. She's going to feel emotions. And then we're going to see if she was changed or unchanged from the situation and if any new learning occurred. As we go through this, I will stop at each point and we'll talk about it a little bit more. Uh, uh, Bellini, please? Oh, yeah. Bellini. 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 Bell
Nope. It's gonna be hard to take care of us if you're dead, too. This? Won't kill me for years. Who's gonna take me to school? I guess I am. And make me chicken fingers. Me. And give me a bath. Me. And check my nose boogies for infections. We'll find someone else to do that last thing. Come here. All we gotta do is stick together. Everything's gonna be okay. In the last stages of Jarvis's theory, he believes a person will be changed or unchanged through experience. Let's see how Helen fared. Are you alright, Aunt Helen? You've been watching reruns all day. Reruns are the culture of the unemployed. Hi, Algar. I have no life. This is Peter Jarvis's learning process continuum. What I was hoping that you would gain from Helen's story is exactly through these points. So at the beginning, number one, Peter, Jarvis's, Peter Jarvis talks about the whole person. They're just in the world living their life. And then down to number two, they have an experience, um, something social and possibly something unexpected. They then have a thought and pro possibly reflect number three and can either do four or five. They can have an emotion and then uh, an, a reaction or an action because of that emotion. Then it moves them to number six, the person in the world changed. And in previous models, he had gone back and forth with whether or not that person could be changed or not. What he's now thinking is that the changes become memorized and the person is more experienced, therefore the person is changed and their whole person, uh, they look at the world a lot differently. Their view is different than it used to be. Peter Jarvis's learning process through experience is influenced by David Kolb. His model, the Kolb learning cycle, starts with concrete experience, then reflective observation, abstract conceptualization, and then active experimentation, and then it continues. It, it just goes on. So a person could go through these steps over and over again through the learning price, to, through the learning process. The difference between Kolb and Jarvis's um, is that Kolb did not take a person's prior experience into consideration. Jarvis set out to show that while Kolb's continuum is valid, two people could experience a life situation totally different based on their past experiences. Jarvis further defines the role of the adult learner as a, an adult learning as a whole person. If you'll remember the first um, number in his continuum is that the whole person is going to have to make a judgment. They're just living life, they're in the first, um, they're in themselves, and they're moving through life and it could be based on other life experiences uh, prior knowledge and their personal history that they are the way that they are to begin with so then he further says that any new life experiences um, and then of course prior knowledge and personal history may change um, the way that they make decisions also he goes into adults understanding the whys of life so in order to make a change in their life um, after a situation may happen to them, they can understand better the role of why things might happen in life as opposed to why a child, um, let's say, may not understand it completely. And then also um, he talks about how adults are able to make sense of life situations. So they can reflect, they can go through his entire continuum, and then again decide whether or not they want to make a change or if they're going to stay the same. But most of the time, according to Jarvis, he's saying that a situation will affect a person and they will move on with their lives uh, changed. Let's take one last look at Helen and see how she has adjusted to her life changes. 10 minutes, you don't want to be late for your first day of school. Audrey, please get out of the bathroom. I'm not in there. Can't. Remember how? Sweetie. 
I don't remember how. Matter. Your shoes here. Let me help you. No, no. Sarah, sweetheart, we have to go to school. Okay, let me help you. No, no, that's not how. You don't know how. Sweetheart, are you nervous about today? It's a big day at school. Mom was teaching her how to tie her shoelaces just before. Oh. Right. And I guess she had a special way of tying them. Well, your mom and I were probably taught the same way. Let me think. Something about... Bunnies. Bunnies. Right. Bunny ears. You make two bunny ears. Bunny goes around the tree, into the burrow, pull tight. Yeah. Hurry up, hurry up. When will you be home from work? By dinner time. Audrey's in charge, so don't listen to her, okay? I don't want to listen to her. Oh, Pastor Dan. Pastor Dan. Well, it's the four Lutherans. Here we are. Here you are. Pastor Wells, would you please show Henry and Audrey to the homeroom? Sure. Hello, Audrey. Bye. Uh, pay attention. Sit up straight. Good morning. Wait, what about lunch? Eat it. It's healthy. I meant we don't have any. Oh, right. I'll take care of it. Bye. Through this presentation and through the movie, we've been able to see that Helen has been changed. You can see that she went through uh, Peter Jarvis's continuum by first having a life experience and then having to think about and deal with what she was going to do um, with the fact that her sister had passed away. You then, um, because she had to take on those, um, those children, she was living a life, a single life, not married, no children, and was on her own and all of a sudden inherited three children and had to take care of them. In that last scene, what you saw was her taking on that very vital role as a parent, and you can still see that she was having to figure out what she was needing to do, um, tying shoes, making sure they got to school on time, and then finally making sure that they had lunch money. I was reminded of Confucius, another theorist, um, when I was studying Jarvis. Um, Confucius said, tell me and I will forget, show me and I may remember, involve me and I will understand. This is something that I've come to realize is extremely important when dealing with my own students and especially with adults um, as an instructional leader on a school campus. Showing teachers and modeling what the expectations are have become exactly what's needed in today's society. We should not just tell people exactly what we want them to do. We should exactly show them and then um, let them experience it for themselves. If you want um, an experience to be true and authentic and you want someone to really take something away from it, involving them and making sure that they understand exactly what your expectations are and what the expected outcomes are, it would probably benefit everyone. To summarize Peter Jarvis's learning process theory um, through experience, we first want to talk about that Peter Jarvis believes that adult learning begins with an experience or a life situation, something that can be life-altering and that person then has to make a decision as to what they're going to do. And they may feel emotions, and that may aid in their decision about what they're going to do. A result will then happen occurring in a change um, or not in that person. And that will only come with prior knowledge and experience. That person can feel something because they know what it's already felt like or if it's something new, they've now had that emotion and they're going to figure out, okay, what comes next? And then new learning can take place. And um, what he says is that that person can then be uh, new as they move forward in the world. Also, um, 
Peter Jarvis's theory is based on David Kolb. Um, his model, the only thing about it is that it did not really focus on a person's prior experiences, where Peter Jarvis feels that prior experience, prior knowledge, and um, self-actualization is something that you have to consider when thinking about adult learning theories.